Um, after you've heard everything here today, um, is there anything that you would like to say in, in response um, and make sure that we can correct any misperceptions that some people have expressed? Yes, and thank you so much, Senator, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I will start by saying that um, I made a promise to Miley uh, that her name would not die with her. Um, so that is part of why my activism is so important to me, is so people know who she is. Um, I want to make two statements before I go into my, my final thing that I would like the committee to know. Um, I think it was Senator Kennedy came to this hearing knowing that there was going to be a mother here who had to make the difficult decision to terminate a 20-week pregnancy, and he decided it was in his best interest to show a 21-week fetus. Um, and his testimony was nothing but fear-mongering. From my experience, that was not my experience, um, what he was trying to um, persuade. Also, um, Ms. Mrs. Call, um, to answer your uh, question to what he had asked, um, my procedure was an abortion. It is on my medical paperwork that I had an abortion, even though my daughter was deceased. Um, it is not, it's not back and forth. Um, an abortion is a medical procedure, whether that fetus is deceased or not. But I would like to ask the committee to remember my story and to remember that I'm one of thousands, if not millions, of people in this country that need or needed abortion access. And to remember that it's not black and white and one size does not fit all. We can't be putting politics into healthcare decisions. And also to remember these facts that abortion access is essential healthcare no matter how you want to look at it. It's essential health care for so many. And exceptions don't work. I'm a living testimony to that. Tennessee had a very vague exception to protect the life of the mother. My life was at risk, and I did not qualify. I would ask the committee to consider passing a law that allows access without exception, just all across the board. Because when someone needs health care, they should be able to receive that health care when they need it, and not have to navigate the hurdles like I did. Um, because like I said, I don't know if I made it to New York, if I would be here with you today. So I'm very thankful for the opportunity that I was given to get to New York, um, and now this opportunity to fight back against the extreme bans that we're facing in many states. Uh, thank you, Ms. Phillips. Thank you for um, your earlier testimony and that, that powerful um, closing. And 